Hi oh, everyone, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd do a really quick video on some finds that I've uh, picked up, some bargains at the charity shop and you know car boot sales recently. Uh, just four items to show you, but um, I was quite pleased with them. So uh, the first one of which is this uh, is this rug itself, which cost me two quid from a car boot sale. Uh, just having a quick look at the label. Um, as soon as I saw this, I thought two quid. That's a that's a pretty good bargain. Uh, if you can see that the label is the Swando wherever that's from, I'll have to look that up on the internet but um, it's 100% wool rug, British made um, it's a bit itchy, a bit scratchy, needs a bit of a wash but um, I've got plenty of uses for, for old rugs especially when they're 100% wool as well, that sort of thing could go in the car in a, in a winter car kit sort of thing and then the other thing I picked up was a couple of four um, sort of nappy pins, blanket pins um, pretty good hard wearing things so one of them is going to go in the possible pouch uh, I don't like putting holes through blankets if I can help it or other bits of clothing but you never know if you you know break something and you need to you know quick repair then they're pretty handy um, so the blanket was two quid I won't tell you how much I paid for those because they were all included in the price of everything I'm going to show you so next thing was one of these um, stainless steel trivet type things I don't know where it's come from it's got four little rubber boots on the bottom but uh, one of them is missing uh, that one there but um, I'm not too worried about that because I'm gonna hacksaw these bits off I'll take the Dremel to them and just have a very very flat trivet that can be used on two rocks or two bits of wood uh, that sort of thing you've probably seen the folding one that I've got but um, you know when I come across this stuff I can always put it in a in another bag um, so that was that I'll just move these ones out of the way um, and then the real thing that I was quite pleased with picking up was uh, was this chap here. Um, nice aluminium. I'm, I'm not a big fan of aluminium, I must admit, but um, when I come across something like this for the price that I paid for it, I wasn't too, uh, too bothered about that. Nice folding handle. It's got a good size lid. I have no idea on the manufacturer of this. I did sort of have a little look around, and there's something made by Tranja that's very very similar to this but I don't know if it is a transit I can't see the brand on it anyway so you've got a nice uh, large size lid you can see my hand up against it there so it's probably a good eight eight ten inches across um, with a pot handle bit there then inside we've got this quite cool little kettle and the reason I say it's a kettle is because if you look around this side I'll turn it into the light you can just see that the aluminium is bent with a crease just there and the tiniest of little holes for the water to be poured out. Bit of an indent to the uh, to the lid, but I'm not too bothered about that. Um, then inside that, you've got four of these cups. I won't take them all out; it's a bit of a nightmare to get back in. But and they're quite shallow, so you can maybe use those as soup bowls. Um, fairly easy to bend the handles on them, but you know, it's at least something that's got enough there for four people to. Uh, to use to drink a bit of soup out of, a bit of stew, have a brew out of that kind of thing. Um, nice little bale on the uh, on the kettle. So that's that. And then inside again, you've got another little pot with a handle. No lid to that one. Maybe that was lost. Maybe it doesn't come with it. Who knows? Um, and then right at the bottom, excuse the plane going over. at the bottom you've got these uh, four plates so you know nice little four person cook set there it's not the biggest plate in the world but it's enough for, for people to eat off of I don't know whether I'm going to keep all the items in this I might um, look to do something with it uh, just to improve its functionality maybe do something uh, take the cups out because they're pretty useless in there um, and maybe use that to stash food in it or packets of soup or something along those lines so that I can actually carry food with the uh, with the item as well I might use this for kayaking who knows so um, that's those so all in all everything I paid and of course don't forget I paid two pound for the blanket anyway um, so that was separate items so those remaining three the the pins the trivet and the whole set cost me another two pounds how about that pretty good price huh well chuffed with it I'm sure uh, Jester and 51 Foxy will be uh, quite pleased with those as well. So there you go chaps, I'll uh, see you in the next video.